bad boy going here. Put a piece here. This out real quick. Trying to make sure the top corner is level or square. You also need to make sure that they're flush with the um, wall because you might screw them in, it might be level, but there could be waves like this way where it's not a flat connection all the way across. I'm noticing that with that end over there. right now because I still need to get the rest of this done. You notice that drill bit fell out again. Huh? Okay. And I'm going to start drilling in some of these here just so I can start holding it down. Again, not too much force because once these get all the way into the wood, it starts stripping out the wood. Okay, what do I say? And I plan on going back and maybe putting another piece in all the edges just to seal it but I'll see because I gotta get the whole back side done too mention that Bunger Steel does sell the screws for these that are color matching but I didn't I chose not to get any
mostly because I had already purchased some from Home Depot. And they look pretty good. I mean, they're they're pretty good. Matt. No complaints from that. Let me get some more screws. Supposed to be watching out for those pigeons or doves. I wonder if I'm doing the wrong way. No, Don't question yourself halfway through the wall, buddy. So, get this ready. I will say though that the smaller footprint of this Hercules is helpful. Again, I'm letting my corner here dictate the rest of the install for each panel because one I'm hoping that Bunger Steel cuts are straight two I want everything to align and look good from afar and also internal so I want to make sure my corner is nice and square here. This is a nice snug fit here. Uh, this thing needs to go down just a little. I guess I should. I don't know. I thought about lining it up on the side too. Okay. Two more on this side, then we're done at this edge or the west side. scratch on. Glad I have 
breakfast this morning. <clears throat> now I'm ready for some dinner. Or lunch, I'm sorry, lunch. lunch. This piece. This is a very tough piece, so it has all the shreds of uh, metal and a lot of the. <laughs> oh crap! Okay, the drill bit. It's a lot calmer in here. Whew, perfect. So now I got a pilot there and a pilot here on the corner. You notice that I don't have a drill bit? <laughs> oh, jeez. See that with th if this thing stayed in, it would be so much easier. But I keep on tripping around. I guess sometimes the pilot screw isn't so good because it kind of interferes and you're being flush with the wood. But this is a learning experience for me. Anyway. So now I need to level this up. I just lost the washer for that screw. Level it up, level it up. Level it up, level up, level up, come on. Let's hope. Okay. 
Black sheep going up here. I know this is getting too hot. Should have went to pick up my nephew. That he might still be sleeping though. This side is a little bit off. But like I said, I can drill it in and kind of tack the corners, the edges, so it's a, a tight overlap. Because right now it's a little bit off, and if I tack it in and then drill a hole there put that screw in it should be fine I hope Yeah, see, so this one I didn't do, a, I didn't put the screw in. It seems to be. What's everyone doing this weekend? on the level.
this one here is not going to make it. So I might need to put a piece of wood here. Yeah, I need to probably tack more in because there's not enough bracing on this side. Whose fault is that? Mine. You like a flame? Me. Think, folks. We're gonna, like I said, I didn't want them too long. I suppose seven footers would have been okay, but I would have had to dig down on the edge there. And I don't want to mess with the integrity of the structure. Um, see, I got overlap here on the edge, overlap there. Um, I'll find ways to secure that. But when you come in here, it's a lot different because you have the windbreak now and we'll put some cinder blocks down here temporarily until we get this leveled we need to put some sand in here to fill it and then we're going to put gravel uh, compact it down and then on this back side here i need to go to i'm going to run to Winslow real quick and get Some 12 footers. Just need to double check that. Thirteens would be perfect, but I could get away with 12. So I'll get some 12 footers. I'm gonna leave my truck here and take the Silverado 2500 because I may get some gravel, I may. So I need to pick up six pieces, of 12, six 12 footers. I should also take in this tire to get fixed. All right, I'll be back. This is the reservation's longest stoplight. We have construction here on State Route from, I think it's 80, no, it's not 87, from Winslow to Second Mesa. So just before you get to Sabadelkai, they're rebuilding a bridge over here. I think they might have crushed half of the bridge on the west side off. And they're digging it down. And they'll be rebuilding it. If I had a camera on the north or west side of the vehicle that would catch a better shot of Sorry, I gotta 
saw one of those dump trucks in Palaka earlier. Was <clears throat> delivering, uh, I don't know how many tons to someone's driveway or they're outside their house, they're gonna put it outside their trailer. 